welcome to another episode of Ultima Final Fantasy, the ultimate Final Fantasy podcast. I am Joe. I am Caleb. And today, ladies and gents, we are going to be discussing the Final Fantasy X audio drama, uh, a sequel to Ten Two Point Five, 2.5, um, titled Final Fantasy X Will. Yes, so it's the sequel to Final Fantasy X 2.5, titled Final Fantasy X Will. Because, you know, let's make it more confusing as to what the fuck we're doing here. That's right. God, why is that the title? (laughs) This is, I believe, the last piece of Final Fantasy X media. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What a way to go out. I mean, wow, what a a high point. (laughs) Oh, yeah. And we'll be talking about that very soon. Oh, Don't yeah. mm-hmm. you worry. <laughs> speaking of we... speaking of high points, <laughs> World of Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, where are you in Final Fantasy uh, World of World of Final Fantasy? Oh man, I think I'm like. <sighs> a few hours ahead of you um i died a couple times last night in the area i'm in and i just kind of quit the game and went back to playing a game for nude clan um yeah yeah you wouldn't want to put this down i know it's it should be wall to wall just action you know with the with the interesting like gameplay dynamics such as a such as a three inch vertical jump. I mean, how could I ever <laughs> how could I ever want to play anything else? <laughs> What's the circle button for? Oh, we don't really have anything aside of the circle button. Well, why don't you just make him jump a little bit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> just jump like what? They should three, have gotten four together inches? with the F F fifteen team to figure out like what everybody's gonna do with each button. So the F F fifteen team didn't do a you know, double X button duty. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, they could have shown them that you don't actually need all the buttons yeah. <laughs> to make a game work. <laughs> and then, you know, that one button you're not using? Yeah, you should probably use that to select stuff instead of jump. <laughs> because that's a combat-only button, and you're not in combat when you're trying to buy something from the poor bastard with his fucking shop at the end of the, the street in the town. But you're standing there in front of him just taunting the little fuck, just jumping up and down over and over again, and he's over <laughs> across the counter just like, stop it. Stop that. Stop. Stop. Security. Security, get this asshole out of here. He's, he just keeps jumping. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, there is a worthless jump in it. You are correct. <laughs> I, I think I'm I don't like, even know how those characters get on top of other characters. If you're only allowed to jump three inches in the world of World of Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, it's it's impressive that they're able to stack like they are. <laughs> uh, I think I'm like six or so chapters ahead of you, if I remember right. Might be less than that, but yeah, I'm a chapter six right now, out of twenty one apparently. So not very far, um, and apparently, uh, given. You know, the game length we've seen. So I think I'm only like five hours into it. Um, chapters probably get longer uh, further you go. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm on chapter six. And for the next two days, I'm going to be on World of Final Fantasy duty. So I want to get most of the game kind of out of the way this week. Um, if not the full goddamn thing, actually. That would be nice. But we'll see how long I'm at the DMV on Thursday. That's really a big factor. Is it really? Last time I was at the... Uh, I am getting my car registration. Uh, mm. on, uh, yeah. I got to switch it over to California and get the plates. It's going to be pricey. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I worked a full week with a little bit of overtime, so I'll be able to afford it, actually. Yeah, there you go. Now you could just give it all away. Yep, now I can just give it all away to the state of California. Mm-hmm. Um, At least it's going yeah. to a good cause, helping all those homeless people out. Oh, wait, what's that? It's not actually helping the homeless people? Oh, well, <laughs> I guess fuck you then. <clears throat> That's right. 
well, I got a second job, and uh, I need to be able to use the car. So ah, that's that's a good point. Figure. Yeah, I need to make it so I can drive the car, and then go. Um, so yeah, there's that. If uh, if California gives me too many, you know, hassles or whatever, I'll just have to. Use, I'll take my temp plates and then fucking drive to Utah. <laughs> Go to St. George and fucking uh, get uh, get my emissions done there and renew for only like 70 bucks. So, you know, that was my other idea. Yeah. Um, but I doubt it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of going through like safety or whatever and there being like some problem and me having to fix it. Oh, do they still do safety out there? I'm guessing that they do, but I guess I, I don't know for sure. Um, <laughs> casuals. It'd be odd for me if they didn't do safety. <laughs> they don't do it out here. Yeah, I know they don't. It's fucking weird. They used to. Yeah. Now I guess they just don't give a shit. No, it's all about emissions now. Ugh. See, we care about the environment out here, not the safety of our people. Well, I think here they'll probably care about both, but I guess I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Know. We'll have to see. Yeah, I don't know. That is a weird thing about Utah. They just barely started doing that like a couple of years ago. So it's kind of nice, but they also made the taxes higher. So it's like, well, I guess it doesn't really fucking matter. Cause my money's gone out of the way. Well, all those like safety and emissions places, you know, they're getting half the amount of money they did before. That's true. That's true. There's one here in Provo. I took Alex's there today, actually, and it was like six minutes. Because it was just the state emissions place, and that's, like, all they do. And it was seriously, yeah. like, six minutes, and they're like, all right, well, cool, you're good. See you later. I'm like, wow. I might have gone to the same place. It was, like, a couple blocks away from where you live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. They were nice to me. Yeah, that's fucking sweet. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> and I left my credit card there, and then it was there when I came back. Yeah, there you go. They were like, oh, this is yours. I'm like, yes, it is. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, it, I mean, what exciting stuff can we really say about World of Final Fantasy? I guess I'm in an ice level. So that's pretty cool, technically. Um, and, uh, yeah, you were talking about some anime cutscene thing, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, man. Yeah, just wait, man. There's one that's, like, so fucking bad. It's coming. It's coming. Mm-hmm. It's uh, It does the thing, like, the thing, you know, the anime thing that we didn't know existed until we played Tales of Zestiria, and then we quickly discovered it again in Cyber Slut Hacker's Memories Digimon Story Volume 1. Dot hack you to would... you slash slash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sands of time. Yeah, sands um, of time. <laughs> I'm wondering. Uh, I'm wondering what you're talking about because with Digimon and Sisteria, the only thing that was similar was the fact that, you know, they had anime cutscenes every once in a while uh and they also had like the talking heads against the screen with the endless dialogue cutscenes yeah that was just like them standing there and making faces yeah um so is that what i'm looking forward to or what no it's the anime the straight up anime ones where it's just hand drawn okay Okay. they're painful but Uh, i honestly kind of feel like the other ones are more painful the ones where it's just, you know, you're standing in Erica's closet for, like, days on end. You're like, why are we in here? Like, I can barely breathe. It's stifling. <laughs> the computer is just making it so hot in here, and it's just boink, 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 boink <laughs> for fucking hours of my life. <laughs> <in> this closet. <laughs> I've blocked that out. Thank you for rehashing that memory for me. <laughs> Dude, I have the never, fucking menu thing. Never theme. thought of that fucking girl with the fucking <laughs> stupid whale plushie. I never thought about it till right now. Between <laughs> us doing the review for Digimon and right now, I never gave that girl a moment's thought. 
Uh, hey, you didn't think about Erica since we reviewed it? <laughs> no. I didn't. Her her whale keyboard? <laughs> Fucking no. God, it's got to be terrible on your wrists, too. Yeah, that does not seem ergonomic at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad because I still have the menu theme for that game memorized. Or it's just... Oh, no! <laughs> no, you fuck! It's actually kind of sweet. How much more of it did you play? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> God. I can't even remember half the battle themes for the Final Fantasy games. <laughs> yeah, but that's just there, you know? It's there forever. <laughs> the only one that I do remember is, like, the ones I've gone through, like, a million times. So they're only ones that I can just, like, pull out of my head without, like, hearing it first. So... <laughs> that's... I mean, that's my go-to, honestly. Yeah, you just default yeah. to FF10. Yeah, as far as battle theme, yeah, it's a pretty good one. So, yeah, that's pretty good. You know, unless you're in the arena, yeah, over and over again. Yeah, it gets old after a while. That's for sure. Yeah, I didn't have I didn't have the stomach for it like you did. I just couldn't handle it. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, no, it's too bad you're not a podcaster or anything. I know, or else that would be really awesome. <laughs> fuck, man. Oh, God, all right, fuck. Fucking Christ, why did I open that? I opened one of my fucking tabs in a in an incognito mode, so if I leave the tab, I'm going to lose it. Why the fuck did I do that? How did I do that? I don't know. Okay. Was it porn? No, it wasn't. Well, then there's no reason. Not not this time. Yeah, I'll Let's keep see. it up. Oh, uh, it's because I accidentally... So when you press new tab on the phone, it's just like... New incognito mo- tab is like right under it. So I must have just like... Big fat f- thumb hit it. Okay. Well, uh, Shinru did not give us any news this week. Um, which, you know... <laughs> Thanks, Jenner. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Um, So, we don't really have much in terms of news. Um, Final Fantasy VII's remake will be playable at GameStar 2019. So, that's one piece of news. Uh, The Final Fantasy XIV Complete Edition is now $45, and it includes Shadowbringers. So, yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's really good. Fuck. Um, let's see if that's just like a sale or whatever, but... Mm, it looks like... Uh, it looks like it might not be. So, there you go. Guys, uh, go get... Uh, if you haven't gotten FF14 yet, go get that. Um... More 14 news coming in the future. That's my favorite type of news right there. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That's their favorite type um, of news, too. And there's a new Final Fantasy Brave Exvius trailer showcasing some multiplayer. Nice. That that people can expect. Um, But anyway, that's it for news, because what the fuck. Man, (sighs) yeah, I guess all the big conventions are kind of done. Um, yeah, we went through kind of a big spurt with a lot of news anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's guess just it's, kind of guess it's time, time for us to have some radio silence. That's right. <laughs> Let's begin. I don't know if you can tell, I'm not in a great mood right now. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What's, what's, what's got you I down? don't know if you can tell. You know, when I'm in a better mood, I'm a little bit more talkative. When I'm in a bad mood, you know. It's going to be a lot of silence with some lashing out in between. Um, I'm not proud of it. not proud of the fact I'm not good at hiding my emotions. People can usually tell, even if I'm trying to hide it, that I'm upset. (laughs) Um, It's not like I explode on people very often. I really don't. 
but I am like visually, I think it's just in my face. I think my face is like telling everybody like, fucking fuck, fuck. <laughs> I don't know if it comes through on the podcast, but it might, it might go through on the podcast. But anyway, uh, I was having an okay day and then I, I walked all the way home. Uh, and then, uh, then I listened to, as I was cooking, uh, some food. I listened to Final Fantasy X Will. And now I'm here. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean... <laughs> you know... <laughs> did, you see, did you see some things on the way home, or what? I didn't see anything on the way home. No, 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 no. We'll talk about it, though. We'll talk about it when we talk about Final Fantasy X. Will. Will... We. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Final Fantasy X Will is an audio drama written by Kazushige Nojima. I mean, Kazushige Nojima. Yeah, this is the same fucker that was behind the Turks. The kids are all right, dude. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was fucking him, dude. It was him. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it was made specifically for the 10 10 2 remaster and um it uh takes place after the events of Final Fantasy 10 2 10 2 last mission and 10 2.5 I know die show which was the book that we fucking read yes and um it was released on the same day it was released in Japan uh Japan's HD remaster. If you guys got the uh, that remaster version of the game, it is in fact in the menu. And believe it or not, I never decided to listen to it because I knew. I think I must have looked it up on Wikipedia. I knew it was a sequel to Ten Two Point Five, so I wanted to, you know, read that book and see if it would in fact enlighten whatever little audio drama that came with the disc. Yeah, I honestly never never read that one either. Um... We, I think we both listened to um, Eternal Calm, which is the time between 10 and 10-2 before we got to 10-2. I feel like we both did that. I don't know if we ever did an episode on it or what, but um, I know we discussed yeah. it at least, right? And yeah, I was like, that thought that was the only one on there. And then I started watching this on YouTube and I was like, oh, okay. This isn't the same thing at all. I was expecting like an actual How'd video. How'd they get James Arnold Taylor on this? Yeah. Did they just like, <laughs> there was there some clause in there that was like, anytime we need you, you must answer. <laughs> They've got like the, the jet, uh, the fucking, the jet symbol in the sky instead of the, the bat. You know, for Batman, it's just fucking James Arnold Taylor, J-A-T, and he just peels off whatever shirt he's wearing and just starts running. God. So Square needs according me. to <laughs> according to the Final Fantasy Wiki, uh, the drama apparently is not meant to clearly de- depict a particular event, but to simply hint at the characters' lives after Ten Two. Wow, no shit. They didn't. Wow. They didn't want like a particular image set in stone by projecting clear visuals, so that's why they did audio only. Oh, okay. Um. Anyway, the uh, Yoshinori Kitase met with Kazushima Nojima, brainstormed about the world after Ten Two, and um, and they wanted to have the story continue as a direct opposite of Titus and Yuna's happy story, and thus Sin was brought back. Mm-hmm. Spoilers: Sin was brought back. Yeah. Um. Kitase said he wanted to do something similar to Sephiroth's role in FF7. So, you know, how Sephiroth keeps on coming back in the stupid fucking sequels. Um, <laughs> They're like, why not ruin another great game? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> why, why not? Fuck it. We've already done it to the best one. Let's hit number two. <laughs> Just work on down the line. God. They're going to create a sequel to, to six and have Kefka come back. Yeah. Yeah, Kefka is yeah. gonna come back, and Locke is gonna, or no, uh, uh, shit. The Setzer is gonna like try to flip a card, and it's gonna like cut his cut his head off. He's gonna like throw it 
up into the air, and it's going to actually be made of a razor blade, and it's going to land on his neck and decapitate him, and then they're going to, you know, the the head's going to roll over to fucking Celis, and she's going to jump off the, the airship and kill herself for real this time. But then it's all a dream, so fuck it. But then is it a dream? You don't know, but do you care? No. No, you don't. <laughs> Was it supposed to help you with the understanding of the story of 10 that's already convoluted and confusing? Yes. Did it? No. 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 <laughs> it's even more confusing. So Fuck. I love how when I was walking home and I was like, hey, man, I'm going to be a little late. I still haven't listened to it. I'm still walking home. You were like, I think you're going to like this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing if I could like. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> I'll see if I could like be like, oh, you know, maybe I'll get Joe to think it's not that bad. You thought you were gonna fucking like? <laughs> oh, I'll say it's good, and Joe will come on and be like, "What the fuck? Why did you think this was good?" Like, or or I'd be like, "Yeah, it wasn't that bad." You know, I heard it was good. What what did you think was gonna happen? I was hoping, I was hoping that you'd just like view it in a positive enough light that you'd be like, "Well, I don't think it's good, but it's not terrible." But there I don't was think like that's... a moment, twice. There was a moment before a certain group of people went to the fucking what's the f- the moon flow, mm-hmm. right? Before they went there, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, all right, I'm into this. I guess why is my." I mean, Waka had a really fucking dumb line, but outside of that, I guess I'm okay with this thing. I listened to it in English, by the way. Uh, yeah, and then, you know... Just listen to it in Jap- Japanese. It's better that way, because you have no idea what the fuck's going on either way. So you yeah, might as well just listen to it in Japanese. I wouldn't be able to cook my food and listen to it in Japanese. I'd have to watch the fucking thing. But, yeah. Um, you know, up to the moon flow part, I was like, okay, maybe it has a cool ending, and Schweiss wasn't fucking with me. Yeah. Yeah. Turned out, not so much. No, but, dude, uh, I hated this out. fucking thing immediately. <laughs> it's trash, man. That Chuami character is a fucking social justice warrior piece of shit. She comes Chew into this town. Me. Yeah, chew, chew on, on me. me, baby. That's what she's basically telling everybody is chew on it, like... She comes into this fucking town and all, all better than everyone else and is like, oh, I can't believe these people have – see value in something that's clearly nah, bad. Nah, I wouldn't say social justice warrior. I would say uh, militant atheist. Yeah, militant atheist. Nothing – there's <laughs> dude, there is nothing worse in this world than someone who used to be really religious and now they're an atheist. That is the worst thing ever because they won't – Oh, if they're bitter. And they're bitter. Yeah, they're bitter. Yeah. You gotta have that element. Bitter ex ex Christian atheists are the worst fucks ever, and this Chuami character is that to a fucking <laughs> T, man. God, she is insufferable in this fucking Yevin, drama. I can't believe you guys follow Yevin. It's so convoluted and old and lame. Yeah, and Awaka's but... like, well, yeah, man, but I mean, it tells you not to do all these other things. She's like, oh. That's just common sense. He's like, well, come on, we'll have it with our logical brains. Come on, <laughs> you guys suck, boo. Yeah, fucking god, shut up, like, <laughs> god, fucking a man. It was like immediate too. It was so instant. And she's so standoffish and like, ah, god, I hate, I hate that fucking character, dude. Uh, uh so, um. <clears throat> They also said, we can't say what happens to Sin after the radio drama. We wanted to leave something up to the player's imagination. I imagine that he uh, singles out Chuami and kills only her for her crimes. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm with you. I fucking hated this thing. And it wasn't honestly like I was like, oh, the character's going to learn something. No. No. There's no development. This is the Final Fantasy equivalent of the fucking Lords of Salem movie where, like, someone comes in God, and nothing Lords happens. That's a goddamn fucking terrible movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's just some, like, random masturbation. That's what happens in that fucking movie. Yeah, that's like... The movie is masturbation, and we see that reflected within the imagery when we see three priest dudes jerking off. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, it's the Not character... Not part of Ted 2. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. Kate said he was lost in the conversation. She's just like she she comes in and like the the priests are just bukkaking somebody and she's like, oh, I can't believe you guys still follow Yevin. Like gross. <laughs> <laughs> Sacred, yeah. And it's Waka. Yeah, it's Waka. And he says that right as he gets like the low drop down his face. Sacred, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it's that. It's like there's a character who things happen to her and she does nothing to do anything about it. Like there's no change. There's no movement. It's just flat. Things happen. Things continue to happen. And then she's in the same place in the end, which is really nowhere by being I a fucking... witch. It's like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, what am I listening to? What the fuck is this? It, it puts up so many fucking questions. Doesn't even, like, hint at any answers. And it's apparently just like an idea they have for the world after 10-2 and not a lead up to a 10-3, according to the developers. It's just a fucking terrible, tacked on piece of shit. It doesn't have an ending. What it is is like a fan. It's it's a fan fiction, and the authors stopped. Yeah. Writing. Yeah. Thankfully, but yeah. Not thankfully, by the way. I'm really fucking mad, actually, because a couple characters were up to some stuff. And I was like, hold on, let's resolve this. I need to know what the fuck is happening right now. And then it was like, no, we're not going to do that. No, no, yeah. not going to do it. <laughs> That's what they fucking did. Oh, my God. So, yeah, it's about a fucking bitch named Chew on me. And... <laughs> Chew on this, bitch. No, just kidding. <laughs> and uh, her friend Kurgum. Who, uh, he's like, he's like a summon, he's a sender. Yeah, he's like, but, it's like summoners without summoning power because they can't do that anymore. she's the guardian. There's something between them that's hinted at. She's like 17 or something like that. Anyway, they just like, they go, they're on their way to meet Yuna, who's in Bear Alive with all the freaks, apparently. <laughs> Uh, but before they go, they meet Titus, and they see that he's got, like, a little bit of an injury, and then he's trying to hide it. So they joke about, you know, betting on the other team, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so she's already a scumbag. She's like, yeah, look at that 1% Titus, huh? Not so strong now, are you, with your fucking injury, you little fucking loser? <laughs> they just, it's, and, uh... it's weird because it almost feels like the beginning of 10 again right there, too. Like oh, they it. played the music, too, and the sound mix. Yeah, and then <laughs> Titus is just like, hi, hi, oh, yeah, love you guys. Yeah, I suck my dick after. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. You know, he's like <laughs> shaking hands and shit, grabbing asses, grabbing them by the pussy, you know, whatever. All yeah, that's what that you do did. when you're in power. Exactly. That's you do that. I, I feel like that's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. <laughs> but it's weird. Yeah. It's like he's back in the same place, which is a weird transition from last novel to begin with honestly because it's like at the end of the last one you know we i fuck i didn't even know if he was alive like it just seemed ridiculous when i when i read well, it turns out, well they all it looks like they made it back yeah everyone's fine <laughs> everybody's everybody's fine titus is now a star player and um and yuna apparently is a fucking monk somewhere yeah mm -hmm. as, as like a spiritual symbol and you know, the big, you know, that <laughs> big, huge religious leader, lo long distance romance <laughs> with a fucking sports, uh, sports player. Yeah, it's a tale as old as time. I mean, it really, as old as time. really is. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you had any idea what went on between the Pope and Michael Jordan, you'd understand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'd have to add, the, you know, remember the Pope's old um, pop albums? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, 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 that's true. Like that's when true. he was on his, like, uh, his world tour pilgrimage kind of thing. Uh, yeah, 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 this, uh, what can I, himself. what can I do for you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what can Christ do for you? Boy, <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's weird because it's like 10 2 was supposed to be her coming out of her shell and like abandoning all of that. And then like these ones, she kind of reins it back in. You it's know? like, okay, I guess I'm the spiritual leader and I'll help all these old people feel welcome. Yeah, I wonder if she caught something like with her party of days. And now she's like, whoa, I better chill out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's. Just, Fucking... She had her days of being a hoe, and then she had to go back. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's like, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, except uh, except herpes. That shit comes back with you. <laughs> Quote the great. Uh... I've I've heard in the uh, nearby USC building in the study room some some stuff has been going around. That's that's what I heard a few months ago. God. Uh, yeah, someone who one of my old roommates was having sex with turned out to have been just like fucking dudes in the usc study room uh damn he was not happy (laughs) (laughs) but they weren't dating she was just being you know she was just having fun you know her college days just yeah yeah well i mean that's kind of on him too then at that point it's like what do you what do you expect man (laughs) Well, my confusion is, like, I've been in that room because we've gone and, like, hung out with the girls or, like, uh, we've, like, dropped them off and shit. And I've been there. I'm like, when the fuck did she do this? Because there's, like, like, there's a bunch of Asian students studying. and (laughs) They're just so concentrated. They they do it, like, on the bench right next to them. They're just so deep into their studies that they don't even notice. Just wearing the, the skirt with the no panties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just get it on standing there. <laughs> That's right. Can you help me get this book out? It's stuck. Goosh, goosh, <laughs> goosh. <laughs> oh, poor guy. God, yeah. That's. Jeez, that sucks. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully his dick doesn't fall off. <laughs> No, no, he was always like, oh, one time she told me that she was like, she didn't want me, she was too impatient, she didn't want me to find a condom. And he's like, I'm so glad I did. <laughs> yeah, man, you never know. That's like, the thing, yeah, like, if, if you find somebody that's, like, willing like that, you gotta, you gotta question how often they've been willing like that, you know? Sure. You gotta know what you're getting into, you gotta, gotta check the market. Literally, yeah. literally you gotta know what you're getting into, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, check yeah. check that anyway. oil. Check that oil. See if it's overdue for a change. And you know, it says here you're uh, thirty thousand miles over. You ever thought about changing that oil? <laughs> I've I've lost the innuendo. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's, don't worry about it. Okay, right. <laughs> we should we should move on. Okay, wait to this much yeah, okay. much more interesting <laughs> thing. Okay, yeah. So they go to Besaid, and they meet Lulu and Waka. Lulu's now the mayor, by the way. Yeah, fucking, wow. Okay, cool. I could see it. uh, I could see it, man. If she started getting political, oh, yeah, she would get her way. That's right. She'd be the next Sarah Palin. She could be governor. Shit. Yeah, yeah. See Russia from her backyard. Yeah, guaranteed. (laughs) (laughs) And, uh, anyway... They take her to Yuna. My favorite uh, line, I think, was like, yeah, we'll take her to you. Not. That was a (laughs) Waka line. (laughs) Loser. (laughs) I was just thinking of back to Borat. Yeah. (laughs) If you've ever seen Borat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. I think my favorite line is the, uh, well, my least favorite line is when, when she meets up with Yuna and she tells her, I think Spira is peaceful enough without your prayers. Sure, there's trouble here and there, but the council takes care of most of them. It's like, first of all, that sentence doesn't make any sense. It takes care of the most most of the the troubles here and there. Like, Yeah, the government's much more effective than your prayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, God, what a bitch. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, don't you understand what that's for? It's not... It's not actually taking care of stuff. You're right, but it's like personal reflection time, like meditative. This is like legitimate. No, prayers stuff. don't work. <laughs> prayers don't work, man. Prayer, there's prayers are stupid. Prayers are stupid. There should be uh, legal action. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, fuck. 
Seriously. Fuckers. <clears throat> Stupid. <laughs> Dead. Dead. <laughs> That's all this is, too. That's all this character is. She's just fucking that personified to a fucking T, man. So, yeah, she meets up with Yuna, and they basically ask her to... Well, first of all, they show her a fucking movie sphere with, like, two shoe puffs at the moon flow, and it's kind of... And I'm like, this thing's only 30 minutes long. When the fuck are we going to wrap this up? And why the fuck are we talking about shoe puffs right now? That was going in my head. Yeah, it's like, I haven't thought about shoe puffs in, like, years. (laughs) Like, God, why is that here? Yeah, and then, you know, the whole idea was that, oh, that was supposed to be the last shoe puff, but (sighs) there's two. And uh, Yuna basically thinks that the shoe puff has been kind of brought back by the will of someone is kind of the idea. Um, So stupid, but they decide to go to the moon flow and the Kurgum guy or whatever um, wants him to go to uh, Bavel and talk to the council because again they want they want the government to kind of solve everything is sort of what the idea is for them and Yuna's like no I don't think so um, yeah yeah, so they get to the moon flow, and Kurgan wants to go ahead and send everybody. Um, there's like people meeting with their old fam, their old dead family members, and shit like that. Yeah, it's and Kurgan's like, "This is wrong. We should send them." And I think Kurgan's right, but Yuna's like, mm, "Not right now. It'll make everybody really sad." Yeah. Well, the weird thing um, that's happening is uh, with the with the moon flow, you're not supposed to be able to see other people's people right like they're supposed to be manifested only to those who knew the person and are here to visit the person so to speak so the fact that they can all see everyone and the fact that they could see the second shoe puff which i mean who the fuck is letting a shoe puff down into the moon flow first of all like what in the fuck like there's a tiny hallway to get down there like that thing can't fucking fit (laughs) first off like (laughs) what the who the fuck is letting that shit in the building you know like i can't imagine that like blue haired guys being like, Oh yes, the shoe puff. We will let it through this time. <laughs> like the Seymour people, the Guados, like why the fuck would they let a shoe puff in there? But secondly, like you're not supposed to be able to see anybody's dead people and Yuna and everyone can see all of them. So they're like almost alive again is the idea. And they can actually talk. They can carry conversations. Whereas in ten if you remember when, like, they went and saw the the guy that looks like a fucked up hybrid between Titus and uh, Waka, his brother, uh, fuck, I can't remember what his name is right now. I can't remember his name either. Um, Isaru or something, I think. That might be one of the Blitzball guys. Fuck it. Well, it's some name like that. One of those dudes. Uh, and, like... They couldn't really see it. It was implied that it was only being seen by kind of who was there for it, I think. And now everyone can see it, so something's fucked up. And I think you're right about this. I think uh, them trying to send him is the best course of action because something unnatural is happening. But basically they think they're going to get mobbed to death if they do that. So they decide against it, Um, which I guess makes sense, but... Clearly, something something fucking wrong is going on. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I was wondering at that point if Yuna was scared that Titus would like go back if there like the fucking moon flow was sent, and I was like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, that would that would be one of but, the. But then, things. like, was he was he totally brought back? I think he was. I mean, he was. Was he truly? I mean, he was dead for sure, but he was just a dream, though. So, like, yeah, and then I don't know. He, I guess, he could be made real differently than these things, but maybe she didn't know that. Yeah, maybe. But no. uh, yeah, they find out Sin is back. Yeah, fucking yeah, that's great. Yeah, just like okay, Moon Flow's going crazy. We're gonna need to send these people not now. Bam, flash flash forward, someone 
somewhere wanted sin to come back. And in the FF10 world, if you wish hard enough for something, it'll come. Yeah, so as, fuck you, Churani. Prayers do come true, you stupid bitch. As, yeah, can't you see <laughs> the sin in the sky? What are you, um, fucking blind? <laughs> yeah, so... Sin is back, and Yuna, uh, with, of course, these tag-along characters coming in and listening in on their conversation... Yuna goes to meet with Titus. This is my favorite scene, by the way. Yuna talks about Titus's. Apparently, has a lady friend. He's like, no, she's just a friend. And then Yuna says she has to leave him because she's in love with someone else. Yeah. And doesn't doesn't say who. I can only imagine it's Waka. <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Bring that summoner uh, ass over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, and uh, then, equally, Come Drop, or whatever his name is, <laughs> he turns to chew on it. Chew on me, sorry. Chew turns to me. chew on me and says, I don't love you. I'm in love with... Say Yuna? What the fuck? Does it say? Yeah, it's Something Yuna. Bizarre. Yeah, he says. Yeah, it's Yuna. I'm in love with Yuna. I'm not in love with you. And then leaves her. And so, like, Yuna and Cumnut go. <laughs> and then Titus and Oron's daughter. By the way, she's Oron's daughter. She claims uh, I, to be, yeah. Nobody she just says it. that she is, and no one believes her. That's it. That's the I, only thread we I, have. I love the thing that Lulu said, though. She's like, or I never talked about you. He would have never kept a secret from us like that. It's like, he pretended to be alive the whole fucking game. <laughs> he would totally lie to your ass about that shit. Oran's a liar. Yeah. He's a liar. He doesn't say a fucking thing. Man's dead <laughs> the whole game. He talks. Exactly. He's drinking all the time. Like, what do you expect? This could easily be his daughter. <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what's your, what does your mother look like? Um, yeah. Love, love that conversation. Or it's um, like, yeah, see, I probably fucked her. <laughs> I love the fact that, like, there's a whole bunch of people coming up to us. Like, they're their they're daughters and sons, and they want to get something out of us. I'm like, were these guys on their pilgrimage just <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just fucking hey, plunder. I'm a them. guardian, you know. Yeah, it's a real panty dropper. That fucking thing. I'm a guardian. <laughs> <laughs> but it's even worse because, like, she says, like, fucking even Braska, like, Yuna's dad was, like, getting fucking serious poon. <laughs> it's like, I, I never thought about that, but I guess they probably would have, uh,. <laughs> You know, they have chicks, a woman at every port, at least one. Like, the groupies would be insane in this world. Like, what else do they have to groupie up on? <laughs> That's the, the, the way, the reason why it sounds like that is because they're getting fucking blown by six chicks at the same time. <laughs> You'd make that sound, too, if you had three of them on your rod at once. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a real hurry back then, because you know you don't know when sin's gonna pop up at any time. Yeah, yeah, they got the they got the fast version. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> Fucking god! So, yeah, apparently, apparently everybody's father is a piece of shit. Just fucking banging groupies left and right. Besides the fact that they're all fucking married. <laughs> yeah. One of them's a major religious figure. A, a Christ symbol. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Where they're fucking rolling through like Tiger Woods in this fucking place. <laughs> yeah. Going. At the end of every temple, they got like 30, 30 hot blondes lined up for him. Like, take your pick, <laughs> boys. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... They uh, in the world of Final Fantasy X, we've seen the outfits. You know, they are asking for it. Oh yeah, of course, of course, one hundred percent. So, 
So yeah, um, apparently Yuna has claimed to Titus that she's in love with another man. Titus had a friend that says, he's like, he's, she's just a friend. So apparently, you know, a year apart, they were together for a year and then they went their separate ways because we only got Titus's point of view for like a second in this goddamn thing. Um, and as a fan, I'm pretty fucking pissed off. I'm pissed off at, uh, ruining my love story, mm. number one. Uh, and number two, bringing Sin back. Yeah, what bullshit is that? The fuck? I mean, the whole... How often can we just wish something into existence (laughs) in this world? And you're going to fucking do that. You're going to have that fucking be the cliffhanger. It's like, we got to go. I got to go get Yuta back because Lulu's like, go hug her. (laughs) Yeah. That's that's Lulu's instructions uh, to uh, Titus in order to win Yuna back. Why don't you go embrace her? Like, oh, I never thought of that before. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, then he runs off. He's like, oh, wait, just kidding. I did. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) <laughs> Let's give you some real advice, Lulu. Mayor. <laughs> I'm a blitzball player. Yeah, I'm a blitzball. Just... A blitzball player, not a fucking poet. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't fall in love with me. Cry, fucking... cry. That's the only thing you're ever good for. Then he smacks <laughs> you in the face. That that happened within the year. We just have no idea. Yeah. It's just an abusive piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, he's just projecting his father onto Yuna. <laughs> As a childhood. <laughs> you with another man. Pathetic. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it has been a while. You never know. I was like, that's the only reason, like, I mean, come on. You can't You can't just fucking do that to your fucking audience. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Square, what the fuck is this? And then what the fuck? is this and you never give us 10-3 it's not like a horrible setup and you're like fuck and then they're like 10-3 and they're like oh thank god it's gonna have some sort of a conclusion at least give it a chance no this is where the 10 series ends yeah <laughs> at it's all time low like Jesus Christ dude it's oh, it's man. so dumb and and like I guess you could say it's you know it follows the the spiral symbolism of the game. But, I mean, I don't even know if that's true. I guess Sin coming back kind of does. The, the plot has spiraled out of control? Yeah, but, yeah, it, it, I guess that's true, too. It Maybe that was an intended thing. It's like, let's let it spiral out of control. And then they did the little, like, blitzball, like, prayer bow thing in the meeting, and then they said yes, and then they fucking published it. <laughs> we shall make point. it spiral. The whole point was that there was, like, there was, it was always in circles, right? The whole story, right? They had the, not only circular storytelling, but also, like, there were just circles throughout the entire game, and, like, it was water, and there were bubbles, fucking circles everywhere, right? Symbolically and literally. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the whole thing is at the end, they break it. Exactly. (laughs) They break the cycle. (laughs) <laughs> that was the point of the game. Like, <laughs> it was the fucking goddamn point. And in ten two, they didn't fucking bring Sin back. <laughs> that was the one thing. That was the one thing, good thing they did do. They they did it to bring Sin back. That was the that was a good thing. Yeah. Oh. And I didn't even realize it was a good thing until they did it in this. And I was like, why the fuck would they bring Sin back? Yevon is dead. They killed God. Like. What I the spent fuck? hours in this what? game. <laughs> God, yeah, damn it. Like I, I, what is this fucking game, or what is this conclusion to this game? Like, Christ. Well, it wasn't pre-planned. They were like, "Oh, what do we add to the 10 HD 2.5 thing?" And what, you know, we had that to be continued in that book that we never continued. Yeah, let's give them a let's give them an ending that they can make it make out for themselves. They can decide how it ends, yeah. which really, really means savor that. Yeah, let's give them another not ending ending, but we'll let, lead it up lead up to it with you know destroying the 
one of the most beautiful scenes in the franchise's history. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. All of them. It, it actually destroys all the scenes in the franchise's history. <laughs> yeah. Everything you liked about 10 is destroyed in this fucking, in like the last 15 minutes of this 30 minute thing. Yeah, I, 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 just, I could just imagine the YouTube video. It's like Kazushige Nojima triggers Final Fantasy X fans. <laughs> Absolutely destroys Final Fantasy X fans. It's like that's the kind of troll shit this is. And it's just... Kazushige Nojima. Scenario writer with Yoshinori Kitase for Final Fantasy VII. Scenario writer of FF8 with Hiroki Chiba. Uh, scenario writer of FF10 with Otomu Toriyama and Daisuke Watanabe. Um, hmm. Scenario writer of Ten Two with uh, Daisuke Watanabe. Scenario writer of Advent Children. Mm -hmm. Only. Only. <laughs> He's not working with anybody else. Um, scenario concept for 13. You motherfucker. You and the fucking <laughs> yeah. Lassie Falsy bullshit. Oh my god. I fucking know. This guy's the worst, man. <laughs> they even thanked him in Dirge. They had a special thanks. That's how much like they acknowledge that he's the worst. <laughs> he fucking thanked him in like their worst game. <laughs> like, thanks a lot, Nojima, you fuck. Yeah, he wrote on the he wrote just the fucking Turks are all right. Oh yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit, did we have a spotlight on this guy? Fuck, I I don't I don't remember, man. It's been I mean, so he's long. behind some of the big games here as a writer. He came up with the original story for fifteen. That's interesting. <sighs> Let's see. Did you see about, I think, that FF15 novel. Is that by him? Um, There's totally a book coming out, by the way. It's like those fucking bastards in the Discord chat, man. They're just like, no, no, there's one more. Oh, dude, we did do one for him in 2015. Oh, wow, we were probably like, he's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm not saying he's not. I am saying he should never fucking write sequel novellas to fucking games. Yeah. That he's worked on. No. Oh, God. Final Fantasy X-2 scenario writer with Daisuke Watanabe and lyricist for a thousand words. I think that's probably the best thing he's ever written is a thousand words. Well, he didn't make that fucking music. That's true. That's true. Oh, he was the lyricist for Suteki Dene and for Him of the Faith. <laughs> so he was the one who <laughs> No, uh Final Fantasy 15 Dawn of the Future is going to be written by Emmy Nagashima who I believe wrote the script to the 15 uh game. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh wow, she had a pen name when she made the fifteen? Interesting. Okay, what, anyway. Was she fucking Stephen King? Uh and she's like, I don't want to put my name on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. And she was like, Oh, actually, it turned out really it made a lot of money. So yeah, maybe I did do a good job. Yeah. Hey, I don't know about yeah. this Nojima guy, dude. I, I mean, the Turks or the kids are all right is fucking terrible, and this is fucking terrible. And it's like, I don't know why they just can't leave shit alone. You know, like it's if we're if we're gonna have a can and a long running canon for a Final Fantasy thing, like honestly, ten two point five or ten two, the ending with Titus coming back and it just being. That's the cutscene you get at 100%. That's totally fine. That's leaving it up to the viewer to decide like what happens. Not his head blowing off and then realizing, oh, it was all just a dream. And then, like, what's going to happen? And then, oh, fucking eight, militant atheist 
fucking <laughs> neo feminist chick comes into village, calls all the god believers morons. It's literal sin is reincarnated and brought back into the world, and she's like, "Oh well, fuck, maybe that." And then Titus and Yuna's love story is destroyed. Like, why? That's not leaving it open for us. Like, I mean, I guess we could pretend that they get back together, but it's like, why the fuck would you do that? And uh, to quote your text once again, I think you'll really like this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I was so pissed. Dude, I, I stopped it like 14 minutes in, and I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, what the fuck? This isn't like, there's no excuse. There's no like, oh, this is a fan translation. This is fucking, this is all the voice actors that played him in the fucking game. Produced by Square, a bunch of like pictures and things. Titus's that... balls dropped a little bit, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, James Arnold Taylor must have been getting over a cold when he came in for this one. <laughs> like, it's fucking. Listen to my story. <laughs> yeah. Colonel, <laughs> listen to my story. <laughs> but like, he's. You know, it's fucking, it, it's it's professionally done. Like, the writing is, it's not bad. It's a terrible fucking story. It's an awful plot, and it has no forward momentum whatsoever other than, like, no, things begin to happen. really good. Yeah, the translation's perfect. Outside of, we'll let you see her, not. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can't believe they fucking did that. What the fuck? All right, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's awful, guys. It's awful. I think uh, I think it's bottom of Final Fantasy X media raking. Easily, yeah. It's so fucking bad. God. It's worse than the book. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> the midpoint of the book is his head blowing up from kicking a blitzball bomb. Like, and this is infinitely worse than that. Like, how the fuck does that even happen? This is how. <laughs> Well, let's see. What's the Final Fantasy X media? Final Fantasy X, I think, is at the top. Followed for me by Last Mission, which I think is a more fun game than Final Fantasy X II. Um, and this is also not as disappointing story-wise. Um, I guess X2 has more substance than Eternal Calm, so Eternal Calm right under that. And then... We'll go with the Final Fantasy X 2.5 novel. And then Final Fantasy X will at the very bottom of the fucking list. For me. That's my ranking. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm going to put Final Fantasy X at the top. Uh, great game. I mean, lots of fun. Good shit. X2, I'm going to put second. Um, it is a fun game to play. Unfortunately, it's kind of outdated by newer games like 13.2 and Lightning Returns, so it's not one that I hold in super high esteem to this day for its gameplay. Like, it's fun, and it kind of revolutionized what we would later get with Lightning, dressing up Lightning instead of, uh, you know, pain, instead of YRP. But it was still fun to play. Story was abysmal until, like, the very end. Uh, but more to it than last mission then then obviously i would put last mission next i think that's actually a really fun little dungeon crawler like it's kind of yeah. better than chocobo's dungeon honestly <laughs> you know, it's just like a tiny little mini game but it doesn't fuck you raw like chocobo's dungeon does at least until the end which is fine final boss is one thing every elemental boss ever is a totally different beast that we had to deal with so not bad. Um, I guess Eternal Calm. That was kind of a... I don't know, that was kind of an interesting one because it sort of dealt with Yuna's... You know, it dealt with the Eternal Calm that should have followed Final Fantasy X's ending, uh, which, of course, didn't happen because of this fuck face book we just read because the calm is over because Sin's back. But it was kind of cool kind of seeing her transition a little bit. Um, it wasn't super great, though, because it still seemed like she was like, oh, I'm going to go like, see the world and live my life. And then she just whips out the booty shorts. And I was like, that's still a little <laughs> a little quick, you know, a little drastic 180 there. But fine. Fuck it. Whatever. Then the novel. And then Will. This piece of shit. 
<laughs> I I hate this fucking book. This whatever the fuck it is, the short audio drama. God, it's so so pointless. Like, and even in the face of like seeing sin come back, the chick just like she, she just doesn't care. Like, it doesn't change anything. You know, and it ends with Yuna basically saying, "We have to go defeat Sin," and then that's it. It's like, oh well, and they broke up. So now you can make the ending just as shitty as we did. You can come now, to your own. Shit you can have your your own. Everybody has to make up their own fan fiction ending in yeah. order to fucking fix all the shit that these motherfuckers <laughs> set up. Yeah, Final Fantasy X two. Everybody's fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> you get a fan fiction, and you get a fan fiction, and you, Kazushika Nojima, oh, you know you get a fan fiction. <laughs> like, fuck. God. God. It sucks, dude. It sucks so hard. Well. <sighs> I don't know if anybody's going to have the opposite opinion on that. I don't know if we could scour the world and find someone who enjoyed this audio drama. Because, well, like, even for for someone who didn't read the novel, they just had the kind of happy ending with Titus coming back. Yeah. And then they're going to go into their menu on the PlayStation screen. They'd be like, what the fuck? They broke up? <laughs> and Titus might be fucking some chick on the side. Who the f- and Yuna is apparently, you know, apparently getting all hot and heavy with fucking Waka. Because that's the only man she's in contact with, so that's how I figured that out. Um, that's how I like the old people. So I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck. This is terrible. Yeah. God. Oh yeah, it sends back, which is fucking stupid. Sin is not fucking Sephiroth, it's Jet. And it fucking concluded. <laughs> it concluded, concluded, at the end of 10. Yeah, no, it was done, yeah. And I mean, even 10 2 is fine. It's not, I mean, it does kind of fly in the face of 10 in a way, but it does not in this way at all. This is much more egregious, like. I I don't know. Ten two just thematically flew in the face of ten, whereas this just ruins all of it. I mean, because then it kind of just means nothing. Like killing him means nothing. If someone can will him back into existence, well, what the fuck's the point? Like Seymour's right at that point because Seymour's like fuck everybody. They should all die. He becomes like the evil crazy person, and it's like, well, he kind of had it you know, had the right of it because these assholes are willing sin back and then he, there he is. Like, how fucking stupid is that? Like, I don't even understand what that's symbolic of other than maybe sin was in the fucking far plane too, which, why the fuck would he be in the far plane? It doesn't make any sense. He's not a person anymore. He's a fucking whale. <laughs> like, they, I mean, I guess they had a shoe puff in there, but... That also doesn't make any sense unless they fucking Crisco'd the entrance to that fucker and just squoze his ass in. <laughs> See his dead shoop up <laughs> wife. Like, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is this? <laughs> God, I should just well, comment on the video like, shoe puffs can't fit in Guadalajara. Sol- it's like the conspiracy <laughs> theorist, you know, like the, you know, the fucking jet fuel doesn't burn hot enough to melt steel beams. <laughs> Like that'll be me on the YouTube video. Everyone's like, "Oh, come on, that's not true. That's ridiculous." <laughs> it's like you know, the shoe puff blew open the. He blew off the fire retardant on the on the beams, and then it melted. Duh. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, fuck. God, it's oh it's it's painstaking. There are people that are justifying it. Um. But as what shit, like something they could put on their crops to increase nitrogen content in the soil. Um, let's see what their main thing is. 
Kind of looks like they're sort of, sort of kicking the, uh, basically saying that they're not breaking up and that that's just a way of for Yuna to distance herself from Titus to go fight Sin. But that's bullshit. So, well, that that's a lot of inference. That's a lot of uh, assumed. That's a lot of assumed stuff there. Yeah. Yeah, just briefly yeah. going through it, stupid. I I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I think it's all just as it is. I don't think there's any anything deeper to draw from it. I mean, you can basically fill your fill in the ending for him because you gave him what three chances to do that, and they didn't. Well, they did the first time, and every subsequent time they failed to do so. So now you can just kind of do whatever you want. Just fucking. Whatever ending you want. You want a four-way with all of them? There you go. Four-way with all of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, if Waka, you want Waka to come in and just lazily be jerking himself off till it gets hard, joins in, makes it a five-way, then fuck it. There you go. Got your five-way. <laughs> it's a true choose-your-own-adventure in this trash yeah. world that's been destroyed. God damn it. Yeah, dude. What a what a waste. Just so you know, he's in charge of the scenario for a Final Fantasy VII's remake. <laughs> Just so uh, you know. like, I'll make it real. I'll make it more real than Final Fantasy VII ever was. Okay, look, he's a big blitzball player, okay? He's going to be banging groupies nine at a time while Yuna is doing her prayer thing. <laughs> okay and Sin's gonna come back okay yeah oh, fuck. well I have a wonderful little FF story pulled up um if you wanna get into that fucking not be enveloped in hatred um rotting in our own fucking acidic filth um we can have a little bit of positivity before we Move on. Yeah, it's just canon too, as far as I can tell. So, <laughs> fucking shit. So fuck all of us, right? Mm-hmm. It's not hashtag not my FF10 sequel. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> not my will. I will this. I will this story out of existence. So boom, there it goes. <laughs> okay. All right. This is my Final Fantasy stories. Um, well, let's just title it my Final Fantasy story. This is Caleb Dalton's Final Fantasy story. Oh, it's a um, C, Caleb. The C. <sighs> okay. Yes, sir. And um, you guys can send in your Final Fantasy stories as we're still doing the show. Let's see. We got next week or possibly the week after. We'll do unlimited. I think someone gave us like a bonus episode, so we might be able to sh- uh, shove that in there. And then, um, and then the week after that is the World of Final Fantasy. So you guys have two weeks from this episode, really. So uh, honestly, try to get it in before next. Episode. Try to get it in in the next week. If you guys have a Final Fantasy story, uh, try to get it into the and in, in, try to get it in because we'll. Technically, our final episode won't be out for a few weeks after we record it, but we won't be tacking on any other FF stories to it. So, if you guys could do it in the next week, or two, yeah, let's say two weeks. Okay, um, that sounds good. Finish your yeah, guys. Send in your FF stories sooner rather than later at fffanatics one two three at gmail dot com. That is F F Fanatics one two three at gmail dot com. And this is Caleb's. Uh you gotta pull up two twice? Yeah, yeah, I got it. We can trade off. <laughs> okay. I'll start. Hey guys, I haven't ever interacted with this community in any way. I know, shameful. But I just wanted to get this out before the show ends. It's re- it's weekly run. It's a weekly run, you stinky. It's weekly run. 
Um, my love for Final Fantasy started all the way back in the year 2000. Back in 1999, Pizza Hut gave away these PS1 demo discs with a certain type of pizza order. You could either get a green disc or a blue disc. At some point during that campaign, my parents got both the green and the blue demo discs. They opted to let my brother and myself each have one. Now, I was very young during that time, and my older brother wasn't, so he basically got the choice of demo disc. He chose green. In 2000, I saw him playing the demo disc, of all things, and he was playing this demo for a game that looks so cool to me. The game looks so good. I watched a boat crash into a barricade, and the water looked so real. That was when I first saw the Dalit <laughs> cutscene for FF8. After that, I saw him fight some soldiers and monsters, and then a giant tornado monster. I thought it was fucking awesome. I convinced my brother to let me try the demo, and I was in love. I could play. I would play that demo so much over the next few years until 2003, when my parents got me the full game for my birthday. I was stoked. Four discs? Holy shit. This was going to be hardcore. It took me an entire year of weekend gaming sessions to beat it, but I did, and it felt fucking great. After that, I didn't touch I didn't touch it much until a few years later when I was in a store and saw Final Fantasy III on the DS. I had some money saved up from birthdays and chores and was able to buy it. After beating it, I felt inspired to go back and play FF8 again. This would start my true love for the entire series. Over the next eight years or so, I had gotten a hold of other Final Fantasy games, both main series and spinoff. By 2015, I had played and beaten every main series FF except for the MMOs. I had also gone back to FF8 every year to play and beat it. Sometimes I would do this twice a year. Wow. Damn. In 2017, I got a new job and found that listening to podcasts would be possible. I hadn't listened to any podcast before, so I figured why not? I'll listen to an FF1. That's where I found you guys, only to realize that I would have to catch up. I have now listened to every episode to date, and this is by far my favorite podcast. I listen to a few now. Well, I thank you. To others. I know, I yeah. Listen to us. You're cheating on us. <laughs> <laughs> cheating on us with the fucking union. You're paying your dues. <laughs> How could you? Just wanted to say thanks for providing for providing hola, great entertainment over the years. You guys seriously fucking rock. I'm going to make an iTunes account just to leave you guys a review. Probably make it a one star for all the homophobic shit I've had to endure. Nah, just fucking with you. This is a five star show and nothing less. <laughs> thanks for everything. See Caleb. <laughs> His rankings are number one, FF8. Then FF6, then FF12, FF15, FF3, FF9, FF5, FF7, wow, FF10, wow, FF4, wow, FF13, FF2, and then FF1. It says, I haven't played enough of 14 to rank it and haven't played 11 at all. Surprisingly, the most controversial part of my ranking is having FF1 as the worst, according to the internet. Thank you for everything. I don't think, nah, FF1 is is my worst as well. I, I yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it people. It just got better. Oh fuck. <laughs> a lot of people like. I mean, say two is the worst, so I don't think his ranking would be too bad. The problems for me are ten and seven, but that's fine. That's whatever. Yeah. He'll, he'll probably like this episode at least. So, this is to you, Caleb. <laughs> this one's for you, buddy. This one's for you. Um. So thank you, Caleb, for that. Uh, Schweiz, my phone is really close to dying, so okay, we need to kind of wrap it up soon. Um, you want to do one more? We have two total. I don't. Okay, we can do them next time <laughs> because That's I clicked away and my fucking phone is slow as fuck in the internet when I'm in this garage here. That's fine. So we have we have your guys as we see them. They are marked as unread. So they will be read on the show. Don't worry. If you've already submitted yours, Robert and Mike, we got them here. We'll get them read. Don't sweat it, but we'll have to do it next time. Because Joe's so, phone's punk. I do have iTunes reviews pulled up. I was told that we only – did we only read the bad review <sighs> in the Explorers episode? 
I I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't fucking know anymore. Look, it, it's the problem is is that I look at them continually because I like to you know see where we're at, and so I've read them multiple times on and off the show. So I'm just gonna say, you know what? No, whoever called us out for missing some, I say we just do them again, even if we didn't, even if we don't need okay. to. Let's fuck okay. it. Okay. So I think it was the two five star reviews before the one one star review. I think. Yeah. So if you want, I'll read the first one from Ohoyli. Just <laughs> five star farewell review. If we read these before, fuck it. We appreciate these reviews, and we'll just read them again. They're both good. Yeah. Um. But yeah, or something was wrong with like Choice's file or something on his recorder. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, it went like. Oh, no, you might have lost battery. Was that was no the, thing? the Explorers one? Remember, because it just like for some reason my file near the end it just turned into me being like. <laughs> And I was like, well, what the fuck? This is, what is this new hell that's just suddenly invading <laughs> my life here? It was just like mumbling. these sound goblins. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I can't understand a thing I'm saying, so fuck it. I'm just deleting like 10 minutes of this shit. <laughs> Luckily, it was just the reviews. Okay. okay. But yeah. So this is from Holy. <laughs> Is it no, is it Hoyly or is it Hooli? Ohoyly 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 Hoyly Yeah my Bonnie or something. Alright. Thank you for your review, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've been listening <laughs> We're done making fun of your name now. <laughs> been listening for a couple of years now. Really like this show. Found it by happenstance as I was doing a replay of every FF and have been hooked ever since. There is something fun about reliving a series of nostalgia with others that really makes it special. From the reviews to the Corolla-inspired drops and clips to super sexy swinging fan fiction, this pod is truly fun to listen to. We'll be sad to see this Die down, but life happens. Thanks for the years of content, and good luck with the movies. Oh, thank you. Uh, P.S. Caleb Craig is a hater with the most insane, unfounded biases in video games of anyone I've ever, quote-unquote, known. Seriously, stop jacking off to Final Fantasy Tactics. It's a great game and all, but Fire Emblem is eons better, and over half of the mainline FFs are better than it. Five stars. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ahoy. I, I have become a big fan of Digs Against Craig as well, so I appreciate that in addition. <laughs> yeah, I should I should send in some more tonight. Yeah. Yeah, please yeah. do. Uh we have another one here from Bobbert thirteen thirteen titled Great Final Fantasy Resource. I found this podcast five years ago and still look forward to each new episode. I grew up playing Final Fantasy and wish I had more time to keep up with the games. Through this podcast, I get everything I am missing with great reviews of games I love and many I never experienced. Good topical episodes fill in between the game reviews, and it is also nice to have guest hosts and listeners on to discuss the series. Hosts take the time and effort to get through all of the good and bad games of the series and never forget to entertain us. Thank you, Bobbert. Thank you for everyone who's left an iTunes review. Um, yeah, we'll still be reading every review we get, so yeah. keep on leaving us reviews. Yeah, like, even... Honestly, like if we come back after like not being on the air for three months or something, which is not planned, by the way, for that to happen, <laughs> I don't think it'll be that long, but um, we'll still be reading those fucking reviews. Every yeah. Time. It's great. Gotta. Uh, gotta. All right. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next week, Final Fantasy Unlimited. Please don't join our Discord channel, or if you want to join us in the forums, you can. Um, just ultimatefinalfantasy.com. Click on, click on forums. You'll get there. Yeah, the, uh, Discord, the Discord channel, channel, it's tagged. I have it as the pinned tweet on my Twitter, at UFF Podcast. So if you want to oh, join okay. the channel, there's a link there. It never expires. 
come hang out with us. There's a lot of great people in there. Uh, we talk about all sorts of shit. It's not just Final Fantasy, so. Yep. So join the Geekdom Entertainment Discord chat, but there's like places for each show. It's basically like the forums used to be. Yeah. Uh, and there's actually like people on it and shit, so it's great. Yeah, so that's just uh, like the old forums used to be. <laughs> just like the old forums. People don't like forums anymore. Fuck it. Or I guess maybe we complain too much about it. People left. I don't know. <laughs> that's possible. Yeah, but, um, yeah, guys, um, we'll probably do, ooh, hmm, hmm. You know what, guys? For our final episode, I would like to, like, leave the invite for lots of questions. And, uh, I want there to be... And we're just, by the way, as a reminder to people who maybe don't listen to every episode, by final episode we mean final weekly show, because after that we're just going to, we're going to non-Final Fantasy games, we'll just be reviewing shows, or reviewing games as as we play them, and that'll just kind of be the episodes unless we decide otherwise. Yeah. Um, and so there won't be a release uh, schedule like there has been for the last five and a half years, where we managed to do it all but one week, we managed to... <laughs> To never miss an episode. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm thinking on Twitter for these finale episode questions. Um, hashtag uh, UFFQ final. F I N A L. Hashtag UFFQ final. Um, I, can we do hashtags in the Discord chat? Um, I can set up a, a special room. For set the, up a room. The final. Set up a room for UFFQ final. And, uh, so that'll be in the Discord chat as well. We should also set up a folder in the forums for the one and a half people who visit that a week. Um, so we have a room there if anybody wants to join the forum and do that. And, uh, title final questions on your emails. If you want to send us an email at fffanatics123 at gmail.com. Yeah. And this, Uh, this can, these questions can encompass the entirety of the show, all the games that we've done thus far, like any final thoughts Um, Because this is truly going to be a big wrap-up for us. Like, it's going to be the last time we do... I imagine it's the last time we'll do news and stuff like that. Unless it's, like, a big, big announcement. We might make a mini-sode or some shit. Yeah, But it's mostly just going to be reviews whenever we finish games after that. And then a couple segments here and there. Questions about those games. Reviews of those games. And then iTunes reviews we'll still read for fun. But it's going to be trimmed down because it's going to be useless to do news that's three months old because we're going to take a little break after we finish all of it uh, for yeah. for other projects and shit. Um, so we'll have that time, and it's just senseless to go through all that old news. Um, but anything pertaining to anything, any questions you have pertaining to anything we've done so far, throw them up there. And I think that would be really fun to do like a, a super long-form question segment at the end of... Yeah, the show. Uh, it's kind of an appropriate ending. Yeah, and FF stories. I also invite those as well. Um, we'll finish up whatever we got in our email inbox for that. Just make sure the subject line is uh, final questions, basically, so that yeah. we know what we're doing. Um, so yeah, hashtag UFFQ final. Um, and we'll be looking for those. Yeah, and I set up the uh, room in uh, in Discord as well, so Join that, and you could do it in there easy enough. Um, so we want to get Perfect. to you. We want to make sure everyone gets a, their chance to ask whatever question you know you've been dying yeah. to know. So we've answered a lot yeah, over so, the years, but we haven't answered all of them. <laughs> I'm getting off the plane. You're picking me up. You were driving to the county clerk's office. I have to become. Uh, I have to be able to marry Drew and um, Hannah. Then I have to, is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. 
Oh, they yeah. asked me to do that. What, why would they ask like you to a do year that? ago? <laughs> I, I don't know. Joke. They just did, and I'm like, guys, if there's someone better, you know. But that's they wanted me to do it. I was like, alrighty. That so seems, that seems bizarre. Like I just got some religious guy, like my wife's old bishop. I was like, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> that that's cool though. I mean, God, I I wanted to do that. Now you get to do it. Oh, you can write my speech for me. You're like my little my little thoughts. <laughs> Four score um, and six weeks ago. Drew I'm asked looking me. for something like <laughs> one paragraph long, something that, you know, is snappy. We're not waiting all day, bro. But you know. I like that <laughs> I like that uh one recent thing where it was uh what a marriage is really just like you and you're just like you're promising to put put up with someone else's crap and never leave. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're promising. <laughs> yeah, so don't let me down, Drew. And you just yeah. walk off stage. <laughs> but anyway, so I gotta go do that legal stuff and then we'll be going straight to your house and recording. How how do you uh, how does one become able to do that? Because you just have to talk to the county clerk, and they give you the powers to do that. Wow. Yeah. Shit, it's that easy, huh? Wow. Yeah, it's that easy. I I had to call them because I was, like, in California. I'm like, can I do that? And they're like, yeah, you just have to show up wow. at the county clerk's office and fill out a thing. And then they print off a thing, and I pay 25 bucks, and then I can marry you. Drew and Hannah, you can you have to do a different thing if you're if you want to be able to do it for like permanently. Oh, okay. But it's it's per county. You could be a minister, like I'm a minister now because I thought I would have to be, and so like I, I I what is it the fucking the big Lebowski church thing? <laughs> it's like dudism or whatever. Dudism, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I just found that out. I was like, fuck it, so. I, I I guess I'm a I'm a ordained Dudist minister, <laughs> but that was unnecessary. So don't I don't recommend that. <laughs> it wasn't necessary because I looked at Utah County Clerk's office thing and I was like, God damn it! I didn't even have to do that. <laughs> yeah, they come by and you're like, guys, honestly, I don't even believe in the dude. If I want to be completely <laughs> honest, like, <laughs> I'll be honest. I like most of the Coen Brothers movies better. Than the big Lebowski. I'll be honest. I'm probably like, the worst dude you'd want as a minister. <laughs> <laughs> more of a bro. Yeah, I'm more of a bro than a dude. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just I, I I thought I would belong, and I just didn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so we'll be I'll get off the plane. You're gonna pick me up, I guess. Um, we're gonna go to the county clerks. Then I'm gonna give you two hours to nap. Because you will have woken up about two hours before you usually do. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll have some a tout le monde beer, apparently. Unless you drank it already. No. Like piece of shit. I haven't. Okay, all right. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I'm sorry. And, um, and yeah, our final episode. Are we able to stream? Uh. I don't know. We might be able to get it up. It might be something that I'm just retarded with. But so far, no. Okay. Isn't okay. Doesn't well, a toot le monde mean set me free? Isn't that what it is? You know what? I have no goddamn idea. I'm a terrible Megadeth fan today. It means French. Frenchy, Frenchy. That's what it means. But you're looking it up, aren't you? Yeah. So Le Monde means all the world or everybody. Is it like to the world? Is it like a, a letter to the world? I guess. That kind of fits, I suppose, our, our finale. Yeah, it just means everybody to Le Monde. Oh, yeah. So set me Final free. Final Fantasy, everybody. Yeah. Everybody. 
I was hoping it meant uh, I was hoping it meant set me free because I was like that kind of works too. It's like now we're set free from Ultima, but not really. But in a way, it's like a send off. But fuck it, now I guess it means nothing. It just means everyone. It just means everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Got my Davidson buddy. Yeah, that's what we want to be reminded of. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. That's right. When we're doing our Final Fantasy final rankings. Mm hmm. Fuck, I gotta fucking start working on that too. Yeah, I gotta do a tier system. That's what I've decided. It's gonna be like total garbage tier, like trash <laughs> tier, mad tier, good tier, great tier, and it's amazing different. tier. So it's trash, and then there's total garbage. <laughs> yeah. Well, total garbage, you see, there's... Well, total garbage is really just dirge. <laughs> I just had to make one special for the that special circle of hell that they created. Dude, dirge and the I stent story. <laughs> I don't think dirge is the worst Final Fantasy game. I don't. It probably, I don't know if it actually is. It's, it's bad. Oh, it's fucking bad. And it's going low. But I don't know, man. There's some there's some strong competition. There's yeah. Some strong NT ish <laughs> and uh Crystal Bearer and Crystal Chronicle y competition. You really hate Crystal Chronicles that much? It was a clunky motherfucker. Do you not remember the fucking controls? Now we had to keep on going into like a certain area and keep on. Like it was the most repetitive game ever, and like the controls were always shitty. Well, we were playing on the fucking Game Boy, for God's sake. Yeah, we were playing on the fucking Game Boy, and the Game Boy has a the fucking didn't need a fucking Game Boy. <laughs> There's fucking four ports. I'm looking at it at the fucking GameCube. There's four ports there. We don't need a fucking Game Boy to do this shit. <laughs> that's that's fair. That, that was pretty fucked up. Oh, yeah, the controls were bad. Like, the menu. Oh, trying to get into the menu, like, mid-battle. It was just, like, casting spells and shit. It was like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh. you had to press, like, six buttons and then wiggle the, the, the joystick to, like, cast it. It's oh, like... and the fucking music, dude. Fuck. Yeah, that caravan track. <laughs> this is repetitive. Oh, that's fair. Okay, that one's pretty bad. It's pretty fucking bad. Crystal Bears would be the worst if it didn't have like a really like I think pretty awesome story and cutscenes and stuff. Yeah. No, that's the but unfortunate part. Crystal Bears is definitely the worst gameplay wise. I like by far. It's yeah. the most unplayable Final Fantasies. <laughs> Crystal Bears. Yeah, it's... Crystal Bears is best played as a cutscene. Turns out. Yeah, that's true. Isn't that sad? Fuck. Man, there but are... I want to add all Final Fantasy media, so you got to decide what the worst Final Fantasy media is. Fucking Christ, dude. How are we going to... Now, it's really just up between Turks, the Kids All Right, and Final Fantasy X Will at this point. I, I think... Those are definite <laughs> contenders for bottom place. Yeah. You know, I love having the worst fucking thing. I, I, I'll be honest. Final Fantasy Unlimited is not as bad as Final Fantasy X will. No, it's not. So it's not like we're, we're not going to have anything shoot up in the next three weeks here that's that's going to pass or pass any of that shit. No. Dude, when I was reading Turks, the kids are all right, I was, like, so mad. I was just, like, enraged just reading it at my desk, and I'm like, God, this is so long, and... This is so shitty. Like, they're driving with a car with no windshield. I'm like, what is happening in this game? Like, and it's, they're going super slow because there's no window. And I'm like, does it have that big of, of an effect? And then I'm like, why am I caring about that? Like, fuck it. It's not logical. It's not anything. <laughs> Fucking double escape shoots. And, oh, God. That, dude, I. I those two stories, the fucking one we reviewed today and that, those are just fucking terrible. <laughs> so bad. Like, why? Kazushige no Jima. Fuck, dude. What is his problem? He just, he's like, oh, you like your story, do you? Well, we'll see about that. The kids are all right, but the story's not. <laughs> I will you to enjoy this, but it won't work. <laughs> Fuck that. 
Yeah, that's true. If we do all the media, fuck, dude. All the media, are we? We're not doing expansions, though, are we? Uh, no, that's kind of hard to judge. So, should we include the expansions? Because they're not because in? they're not standalone in any way. Expansions aren't. It's like part of the game. I think you should include. I think I think expansions. For the sake of our final episode, I think expansions should be included in our thoughts about ranking FF11 and FF14. Okay, so that might push them up. Yeah. That sucks that we haven't played what's supposed to be the best 14 expansion then, but I still think we have really strong thoughts on Stormblood that are positive, so 14 is going to be higher than it was before, for sure, because OG14 is a fucking wallow text... And very boring, but everything since then. Yeah, that's. A, I think that's a good idea. Just for the sake of the finale is like, because it's us wrapping a big bow on everything, so then we can kind of wrap individual bows on these games as well. And it's it's a tough one to really fit to our, kind of bend to our <coughs> will with the fucking MMOs, because <laughs> they're such a different beast. But I, I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's tough with the expansion things, but I think the expansions are part of the experience now. If you get one of those games now, it's going to be filled with all the expansions. So, might as well make that a part of it. You know, we're doing this review in 2019. That's when we're doing it. So. That's right. Um, and that final expansion is not even done for 14. So. Technically true, yeah. It's not yeah. it's not totally out until the next one comes out. Or at least the months yeah. leading up to it. But So hey, I don't feel too bad about it. Yeah. We did get credits in eleven. I think we fully <laughs> fully experienced eleven. Yeah. Outside of like growing a chocobo for a month, which sounds like hell. <laughs> Sounds like passive hell. It's like, oh yeah, I got a little bit of hell. But you know, honestly, we had time because you know, fucking sixteen days of game time. Fuck. Oh, we had time. Yeah, that was that was a lot. That's crazy that we did that. Like in the time that we did it, especially like it was so sick, and it got to the point where it was like, dude, you have to get to this point by this day, or we're not going to review this this week. And then it's like, but we just reviewed one last week, and it's like, yeah, but fuck it, let's get this done. Let's fucking review oh another one. God. Fifteen days for each of us in that game. Over two weeks of playtime. Straight up playtime. Play yeah. Over two weeks of playtime. Yeah. I got you for fourteen days. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> fuck, dude. That's nice. Did your husband make it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Someone, one of Timo's friends down here, uh, was like, we were talking about Spider-Man. He's like, yeah, I like the first Spider-Man. I don't think it aged well. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, the homophobic comments in the fight. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on now. I think that makes it better. <laughs> I think it adds a flavor to the movie. It's like, hmm. Yeah, that's a good flavor right there. That's good. I love Bone Saw. The Bone Saw scene is great. It's a great fucking scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's one of the best yeah. parts of that first movie, honestly. It's yeah. great. There you go. And it makes it better that it's so irreverent. When you watch old irreverent movies, isn't it the best? Yeah. They're so they just don't care. It kind of is. Some, yeah. And it's watch like Watch some 70s comedies. What's that part where, like, the grandma is like, I talk jive. <laughs> <laughs> In a fucking airplane. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, I love that fucking movie, dude. Uh, the Air India thing. I was, like, crying at that. It's fucking <laughs> going by with, like, the turban on it. The plane. Well, I mean, we all know the best scene in Airplane is the fucking auto, <laughs> the, the autopilot and what he's, like, deflating. Yeah. And she has to reinflate him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like bouncing against her. Yeah, dude, I was fucking crying when I was watching that shit. I was like, oh, my God. It just gets better and better. <laughs> it, like, looks over at the camera and everything. Oh, dude. 
<laughs> God. All right. Before we derail any further, uh, once again, hashtag UFFQ final. Our email is fffanatics123 at gmail.com. You can tweet me at Joseph DeGallier. You can tweet me at UFF Podcast. And uh, you can check out our other shows. I st- the Godzilla podcast is still going, but obviously Drew's getting married and I have no order to record, so fuck it. It's, it's just going to be a few months. But uh, the Godzilla podcast, still plenty of episodes, uh, and I don't plan on leaving that untouched for as long as I can stand it. So if you haven't uh, checked that out, go check that out. Schweiss, what do you got? So Joe and I were on uh, – I still am on Nude Clan – a weekly video game podcast. Um, it's kind of the spiritual successor to Ultima Final Fantasy. Um, that's been going long and hard for multiple years now. We got a big backlog of episodes, and honestly, I think uh, I think it's still going pretty strong. I think it's really good. I have a good feeling about it. We got a good after dark program. It's like a se- separate side show. It's a lot of fun. Uh, that one's going. We got Song of Schweiss and Johnson, a Game of Thrones podcast. If you're not completely tired of and done with Game of Thrones, after the ending, you can come listen to us deep dive each of the episodes. Um, we're at the beginning of season six. Didn't record anything this last weekend, but we are planning to do it this weekend. So big backlog season there. Six a great fucking season. Yeah, season six is second best in my opinion. So. It's real solid. It's got the best ending out of any of the seasons, possibly oh, yeah. all to all of TV. The last two episodes, fuck, dude, so good. So we got that. Um, super sexy swing and fan fiction. Obviously, hasn't been going for a while, but hundred. Uh, I think it's a hundred episodes straight up. Fuck that. Just dump it, dude. Just, just fucking delete it. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking had it with that thing. It's it's a black mark on my past that that fucking thing exists oh man i mean something yeah it was funny it was funny but fuck yeah yeah god it's just too much it's just too much so we got that on the network we have <laughs> a puff puff hour podcast <laughs> dragon quest podcast titled the puff puff hour um hasn't they been should a- smoke weed on their last episode yeah yeah they should all just be super high um, the, like this is really the puff puff hour. This is the only puff puff hour we've ever actually had. <laughs> the most puff puffiest of hours. Oh god. Um yeah, that one's on the network and then Getting Fat with Caleb and Joe, super fun old show that we used to do. Uh but just talking about random stuff. So I mean, if you like us shooting the shit, then that's perfect for you or hearing behind the scenes stuff with uh Joe's recent movie projects. That's a great resource for that as well. A lot of fun little interviews with the with the crew who made those movies. Uh, Manual song. And yeah, I think I want to do. Day. I think I want to do another one if me and Parker can ever get together during one of these film festivals. We'll talk about the post production process. Nice. That would be a good bow. It's been very. It's been a very lengthy process, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a, that'd be a fun yeah. episode to listen to just to hear it all kind of. Mm-hmm finish up so we have we have just dude so many podcasts that we've made for you guys to listen to i mean i i tallied up mine the other day and i think it was like it was over 700 individual podcasts that i have done um you included super sexy in that all of the ones that i was in yeah um because there's like six that i'm not part of and then i took out like three or four Ultimas that I wasn't in, and then I put every nude client in because I've never missed one. And Johnson getting fat that I was in, like, it's a lot. There's a shitload of us online, so if you don't hate us, uh, give us not a one-star review and listen to our other shit. There's a lot of stuff out there, so even though this show is coming to an end, it's not like we're not going to do podcasts, so... That's true. I mean... Like for real, it's we're gonna do other shows. <laughs> yeah, we got. Uh, I think we got some Final Fantasy fifteen and Final Fantasy fourteen expansions to get through. 
Yeah. And then we're going through the fucking Mana series. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, yeah, and there around. there is life after UFF, too. There are other series that we are very into. It would be a limited That's... time thing. It wouldn't be the five-year <clears throat> beast, you know. It's true. But. It's true. You're scaring the shit out of me right now, but that is true, yes. <laughs> it's just, just saying. It might happen. You never know. Never know. Um, but, yeah. yeah, so keep on keeping up with us and hopefully you guys give those other shows a listen and I guess we'll see you guys next week enjoy the grind <laughs>